All right, so we're in my Tesla Model 3 Performance, a uh, 2019 model. And today we're gonna be installing a CCS adapter retrofit. And you probably wanna do this if you want to be able to charge at non-Tesla charging locations. So Electrify America, EVgo, and uh, places like that if you're going somewhere that doesn't have a supercharger. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is go into the menu and just take a look at our software and just show you guys that right now it says CCS adapter support not installed. So now we're gonna go through the process of shutting down the car, installing the adapter, and then hopefully we'll have that say supported. All right, so before we disconnect any of the power to the car, we wanna make sure we leave our passenger door open and the trunk open as well as the front because we need to get to all that when the car's off and none of the electronics work when we disconnect the battery. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the uh, penthouse for the main high voltage pack. So obviously I already have my cushion out. Uh, there's lots of videos out there to show how to disconnect that. So it's just little levers right here and you can pull your cushion out and then disconnect these little harnesses here. And then we just gotta get to our High voltage connect or our penthouse connection here. It's covered in this foam and then we just push down on the lever and you hear a little thunk and it's disconnected. All right next thing we're gonna do is disconnect the 12 volt battery. All right so we're back here in the trunk. First thing we need to do is gain access to the charge port area which is in this back corner so we got to remove this trim piece and then pull the carpet back. All right, we just got this little pin up here we gotta take out. All right, so we got that little pin out. Now we can pull this plastic down and gain access to the carpet. And then we just need to remove this little wire here connected to the light for the trunk. And now we can pull the carpet. And what you see in there is a little ECU that we are gonna be replacing. All right, so now it's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna go and disconnect all the harnesses from the ECU, undo the little 10 mil bolt and pull it on out of there. You see it just slides out with these little slots there. Don't try to pry it, it'll break. So we got our old one on the left here and our new one. This is the part number you're gonna want from Tesla to get the CCS adapter support. So in addition to the ECU, you also need to get this device here. It's an additional adapt, a third party adapter uh, called a bundle of wires. Um, you're gonna have to find this probably on your own. So if you just search for a bundle of wires, you can find this. They run about 50 bucks and it'll allow you to use this newer style ECU. All right, so we're gonna take our bundle of wires here and just put it in here before we get our ECU in there. And then we're just gonna go slide it in. just plug everything back where it went before. And 
then this harness goes into that adapter. And that's it. All right, so we're just gonna put the interior back the same way we pulled it apart. All right, now that we've finished installing the ECU, we're gonna reconnect our 12 volt battery. And then we'll move over to the penthouse and reconnect the, the top of that. So we're back in the back of the car and we're just gonna flip our little lever back. And we should hear that clunk that we should always hear when we reconnect this. All right, so car is powered back on and you'll see that we have a new error, incompatible drive system software detected. So now we gotta fix that. So we're gonna go into service mode, which we go into the main menu, software, and then hold down on your logo Enter service, enable. All right, so we're gonna unlock the gateway first, which you gotta hold the right blinker and have your key card in the car and hold the brake down. And just do it for 10 seconds and it'll say unlocked. Then we can hit software reinstall and then reinstall. So we'll fast forward past this, but what this will do is recheck the ECUs and it'll see that there's a new one and update that. So when it's all done, we should see that we have CCS enabled. All right, we're back in the Model 3 and update has finished, screen's back on. We're gonna go into the software and check the additional vehicle information. And we have CCS adapter support enabled now. So we're gonna go to the charger and test it out. All right, so we're gonna head over to the Electrify America charging station. And one thing you wanna do that's a little different than going to a supercharger since we're not navigating to a supercharger, we still wanna uh, ready the battery pack for charging, precondition. So just navigate to the nearest supercharger you can and it should start warming up the battery um, just like it normally would at a supercharger. All right, so we're here at the EVgo charger and we're, you can see we're plugged in and on screen we're, we're charging at 88 kilowatts 
Uh, we're a little limited because the pack is so full already, but we've been going for seven minutes now. Uh, we put 11 kilowatts in there, and then you know we can see all our data here we've done so far. So yeah, it's working pretty good. So that's CCS adapter on a older model, Tesla Model 3 that didn't originally have the CCS adapter support. So it's all done. Thank you.